It's that time again. Time to change my Disney ear wool. Today I'm going to be changing my Halloween ear wool and swapping it over for something a bit different. So I'm actually going to try a wool that's dedicated to one particular small shop, and that is the Cave of Wonders. So this is one of my favourite small shops, which is why I've got so many of their ears. And also another reason why I can make a display of them, because I've got so many. So I've got enough to fill this whole wall behind me and also the wall around the corner with the three spaces. These ears all have a very distinct style, so I think they're going to look good together. I'm going to start by taking down the Halloween wall poppers and clearing this wall. All of my wall poppers are stored in these boxes above the cupboards, so I need to bring them down and put the Halloween wall poppers away while searching for some new ones to match the Cave of Wonders ears. I think this is also one of the reasons why I sometimes don't change the ear wall for ages, because it's a lot of effort getting up and down those steps. The last box, I think, is Christmas, so I'll leave that one there. So this first box is useful because I know I've got, I think, five pairs of princess ears. So this is all the princess wall poppers. Um, Pocahontas I need. Uh, Snow White. I've actually got two different Snow White wall poppers in here. Um, one of my pairs has more of gold rather than yellow, which is why I made that one. But I think this pair, uh, the yellowy one, will do. There's a Cinderella pair, so I'll get that one out. And Sleeping Beauty. I've actually got two different Sleeping Beauty ones, so I'll get them both out and see which colour matches best with the ears that I've got. And then the last one is the Jasmine. These are the Sleeping Beauty ears. I think they might actually go better with the pale of blue and pink rather than the bright one. It actually goes quite well with both of them. But I'm going to go with the pink and blue. The next ears are the Snow White ones, which will go with this wall popper. The, the next one is Pocahontas. And she's wearing some Mickey ears and holding a little cupcake. Um, all of these princess ones were based on the princesses having like a day at Disneyland, which is why they say best day ever in the center. That's why each princess is wearing a pair of ears. At least that's what I think so. anyway. So that's my Pocahontas wall popper. This is the Jasmine pair. Again, she's having a Disney snack and wearing some Mickey ears. And this is the Jasmine wall popper. Sorry, I'm not supposed to say Jasmine. Uh, for legal reasons, this is the Arabian princess wall popper. And then the last of the princess ears are the Cinderella ones. And I really love her dress on these ones. And she's holding a little lollipop there. And they're going to go on the magical carriage wall popper. So I'm going to put these ones on the wall first and then I might have to rearrange them later depending on how they look next to each other. But for now, I'll just put them wherever. Okay, box number two. Lots of Alice in Wonderland stuff in here. And for the rest of these ears, I don't necessarily have specific wall poppers that will match them. So I'm just going to have to look for ones that have got the right sort of colours. Although there is a Queen of Hearts pair of ears. And I think I should have a Queen of Hearts wall popper somewhere, unless I sold that one. Ah. 
Ah, the, the boxes are labelled incorrectly. It said main attraction on the front, so I was expecting all the rides ones in here. But that's not what I've got. Uh, I've got an Epcot pair of ears, so I'll take this one. Maybe this gold too. Ah, there it is. I was just getting worried that I'd sold that then. I nearly forgot the white rabbit. Um, that's my favourite pair of ears, so uh, I should remember this one. Okay, so I've got a few more out now. I'm going to match these up with the ears and then see what other ones I need to find. So I've got two pairs of Mickey Waffle ears, one with egg and bacon in the bow and the other one with strawberry. So for the strawberry one, that's the one I usually put on this picnic wall popper just because the reds match. So that will go on there. And then the other one, uh, I'm going to use the, I think it's called the pancake face wall popper. Um, as I've sold the waffle one I had, but that looks quite nice. So I'll put these two on the wall. These are the white rabbit ears. And I'll just show you a little close up of the side of them. All of these ears are made with layers of craft foam. So when you see them from the side, you can see all the different colors and layers that we used to make them. So nice and glittery on the back. And this is the wall popper that are made to match them. Then the Queen of Hearts ones have actual playing cards on one side and Queen of Hearts on the other with red backs. And this is the Queen of Hearts wall popper that matches. So two more for the wall. So I had this magic mirror wall popper up with the Halloween display, um, but I'm going to use it again because I've got these evil queen ears, which have got the magic mirror on one side and the evil queen on the other. And then as well as that one, which was already up on the Halloween wall, I did already have two pairs of Cave of Wonders ears on display. So one was the Hatbox Ghost, which was on a different wall popper, but I've swapped it to the uh, crystal ball one because it looks better than the one it was on. So I'll put these back up. And then also the Maleficent ones, um, I'll, I'll keep these up on this same wall popper. And I think this pair of ears was actually my first pair from the Cave of Wonders. I just liked the, the shape, how this dragon sort of sits on the ear and his wing curves around. So for the Epcot wall popper, I've got these Epcot ears with Mickey and Minnie. And I just love their outfits on these. They're the retro space suits from, I think, the 80s. And they also have a nice holographic bow. And sparkling silver on the back. So for the Peter Pan ones, I'm going to put them on this Wendy wall popper. But they actually look quite good, I think. In the past, I've always displayed them on the dark blue one with the boat. But I, I must have sold that because I can't find it. So this will be a nice change and not... Not the same sort of things I always do. So I've got two spaces left on this wall, but I've also got three round the corner. So I need five more poppers. And I just happen to have five more pairs of ears. But this is where it gets a bit difficult because I can't find the matching wall poppers for these. So I'm going to have to find alternatives that work with the colours. So I'll just show you the ears I've got left. Um, I've got the small world pair and a love mini dressed up in this little outfit. 
Then I've got some anniversary pairs. So a Mickey and Minnie 50th pair and a Donald and Daisy 50th pair. And then also a Disneyland Paris 30th pair. And then I've also got the Big Thunder Mountain ears. So for the Big Thunder Mountain ears, I've gone with the cowgirl wall popper. And I think that works quite nicely because obviously Mickey's a cowboy and cowboys, cowgirls, westerns, it all kind of fits together. Then for this pair, I've gone for the gold glitz wall popper. I just thought this suited the theme of the ears because it was the golden anniversary. And the ears are a bit glitzy as well, so they look nice together. For the other pair of 50th anniversary ears, I've gone for this iridescent blue wall popper with the Disney World logo in the middle, as it was the Disney World 50th anniversary. And then for the Paris 30th anniversary ears, I've gone with this um, fluffy, feathery wool popper, which I thought goes quite well with the Paris theming and their like flamboyant hats and outfits. Uh, feathers feel like they fit. And then for the small world pair, I've gone with the other feathery wool popper um, in pink, just because the pink complements the pink of the ears. So that's our final one. Let's get them on the wall. So I just put these final ones on. And then these last three are all pastel colours. So I thought they would go nicely together as the three round the corner. Lovely. So that's the three behind the door and the others on the main wall. Uh, I'm just going to try swapping a couple round just because different colours look uh, better together. So I'll move the red one away from the pink and put it over here by this red. Might swap these over so the blues are together and maybe move this. And that's another ear wall finished but only for a few weeks, and then I've got to change it for Christmas. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and let me know in the comments which was your favourite pair of ears. And if you have enjoyed it, Please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next Earwall update. Bye!